the hospital I was staying at was crushed by a bridge. Still on the bridge. staying at was crushed by a bridge. Still have nightmares about it. Still hear the crack before it all came tumbling down. I've been scared to death. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. And yeah. I know how that must sound considering I'm employer. I'm scared of the dark. I mean, don't sleep anymore. Can't.
Sam? Do you remember your own birth? Me. I remember being inside the womb. I wasn't alone. I could hear my mother's heartbeat. Hers. And Lachna's. We were conjoined twins. One and the same before we were born. But then they tried to separate us. The surgery. The operation was successful. We were still home. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy was her joy. Her pain was my pain. And no distance was too great for us to overall. <clears throat> Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body. Join us there. We have a beach. Just for us. When we share. <clears throat> Our own <clears throat> private chiral network. You might say. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam, Sam Porter Bridges. I'm a little over now. Decontaminating suit. Battery low. Please charge vehicle. you in the dark. Try to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. Lockman, you need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Now, make the world whole. Okay? Just like you make me.
all that she went through, I had no idea. I thought, I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with her child still inside her. Her ka passed over to the other side, but her ha remained, bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. This? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're one. Like before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Akna. Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna, your work will help ensure that the Cairo network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, there's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but the languages, the names, and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the chiral network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet.
Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living towards you, Sam. It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters, because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you, and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <laughs> of course! One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me, try, and start again! Uh. Oh. Uh. And this is why I hate these things. Uh. Oof. Uh. Sam. I was already filthy for my trip for the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injure me.
else in here. It's just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name. Or his face. I thought you might. Since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Cairo network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course.
tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Amelie's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edgenot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Deadman restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hulk. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BP's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the chiral network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You'll have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Sam? You read me? Um, Lochna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're all again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so... I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with bridges, then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants what we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. 
We're all connected now. Weapons restrictions lifted. something I've been meaning to ask. Would you help me join the UCA? If me, being a part of it ensures more people get the medical attention they require, then it's well worth the hassle. Thank you for that. I might not be as young as I once was, but I've still got plenty to offer. Oh, by the way, I came across something I thought you might find useful. You're more than welcome to it. save lives. And, as you know, every life that's saved is one fewer BT to deal with. Which in the long run means even more lives are saved. Please, don't give up. No matter how difficult it may become, I implore you. I see you've put another shelter on the network. Nice job. Chiral levels are increasing as predicted, which is good. As for AB28, you'll be pleased to hear the operation went well. There should be no need for additional major procedures. We're not out of the woods yet, but I think it's safe to say that the worst is behind us. All that remains is to continue expanding the network, monitor changes as chiral levels increase, and make adjustments as necessary. Drug therapy should suffice. Keep it up, Sam. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal. Deploying autonomous.
Begin and scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons to decontaminate. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges.
I hear you're the one to talk to about the chiral network. Is it true that a contract will let me access your schematics and so forth? I want to share my research with everyone. Let them read it. Let them learn from it, like I learned from their work. Make me a part of the UCA. <laughs> Very good, very good. Guess we're in this together now, Sam. I'd love to show you around the place, but it's a terrible mess. Thanks, Sam. BB-28 appears to be on the road to recovery. Its affinity with the other side is growing stronger, as we hoped. The convulsions and spasms have ceased as well. I know it's tough out there without a BB, but you've got to keep on fighting the good fight. Just like the kid is. Just like BB-28 is. Sam, we've received an order from a new client. Check the terminal in Mountain Knot City for the details, and do it soon. Sounds like someone is in need of medicine. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Robotocist's custom-made active skeleton, isn't it? Should be a big help on mountain trails or any lousy road, come to think of it. Deploying on top.
license restrictions lifted.
ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. She's feeling better already. But I'm not kidding myself. Even if they did work that fast, the doctor said she needs a lot more than antibiotics. She's carrying our child. I want her looked at as soon as possible. Please, I need you to go to the doctor for me. He's got some kind of machine, thinks it might help. I, I couldn't make out the details. The damn connection kept dropping out. But someone needs to go and fetch it. Take anything you need from that shelf. Hell, just take all of it. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further... requested that you complete this order as soon as possible. In other words, speed will determine your eval. Keep in mind, however, that when operating outside network coverage, you won't be able to fabricate additional items. You'll need to choose carefully from the equipment provided by the client. Now the clock won't start until you set out. So, take your time to get your gear in order before you do. updated. Time limit set. Sam, in light of the patient's condition, I've gone ahead and put a time limit on this order. You can still deliver the cargo until it runs out. 
that I want you to move hell and earth to get there before it does. I know we keep piling things on you, but your BB unit can wait a little longer. And besides, beefing up the chiral network there should help it get better faster.
like this so late in the pregnancy can cause any number of complications. Even if she survives, there is a risk she could suffer brain damage, even brain death. Now, I need you to deliver this prototype bioprinter and remote medical terminal to the Mountaineer. If you can connect them to me via the chiral network, I can use this equipment to diagnose the patient's condition and provide treatment. The terminal will allow them to transmit their genetic code, with which I can formulate a DNA vaccine for printing. At present, only vaccines utilizing viruses and other non-living components can be generated in this fashion, but future advancements may free us of this limitation. It should go without saying, but this is delicate equipment. Don't break it, whatever you do. Oh, and uh, thank you.
Press ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Delivering cargo. said we need a chiral connection for this to work. So, hook us up. We'll join the UCA and whatever it takes. Go ahead. terminal from my end. Just, just a moment. Everything's going to be all right. With this device, I, I can examine her as if I were actually there. The manipulators on the terminal perfectly reflect my movements here. And with a bioprinter, I can provide a custom-made vaccine. It's just a shame my better half hasn't had a chance to build any more of these things. You're looking at the only ones we have. Don't worry, though. We'll do everything we can to ensure your child is safely delivered. Oh, thank you. This is... this is incredible. You should thank him. The network he's helping to build is going to change the face of medicine forever. All right. Let's have a look at you. You've brought us the next best thing to a live-in, Dr. Sam. Thank you so much. Nicely done. BB-28 will be back in action soon. The kid's a real trooper. Stay the course, Sam. Heads up, Sam. Got a fresh order for you from a certain mountaineer. It'll take you to a region not yet covered by the chiral network. Suffice it to say, this is a chance to change that. Look into it as soon as you can. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. You're gonna love Power Gloves. They provide a major boost to arm and grip strength. If you're scaling a cliff with a rope, you'll be able to make your way to the top a lot faster. You'll also notice a difference when lifting heavy cargo. And that's not all. Ever take a tumble down a steep slope? 
you probably tried to slow your descent with your hands, right? Well, if you've got these on, you'll be able to stop yourself that much more quickly. Just promise me you won't try punching someone, okay? That's not what they're for. contribution.
Access ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. You're from Bridges, right? You don't have anything else for me, do you? No? Okay. Never mind. Never thought I'd receive a delivery in such excellent condition. Hey, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could find my father's camera for me? It's kind of a long story, but he used to conduct field research in the area. My father believed that the key to understanding the Death Stranding was hidden here, somewhere in the caves and strata. But he passed away before he could complete his work, leaving me to finish what he started. And not long ago, I found something, something amazing. I was sure it was what my father had been looking for, even if I couldn't see how it related to the Death Stranding myself. What I needed was an expert opinion, someone who could look at what I'd found and tell me what it meant. So, I grabbed my father's camera and set out to document my discovery. Took pictures of every last detail. But on the way back, I spotted a group of armed men and I panicked, dropped everything and ran like hell. Thankfully, they never saw me, but when I stopped running, I realized the camera was gone, case and all. I've been trying to pluck up the courage to go and look for it ever since. But then, I remembered that the cargo tag was still on the case. And I figured, you being with bridges and all, that you might have a way to pinpoint its location. Please, I'd give anything to have it back. I'm gonna put in the order. Please understand. That camera means everything to me. Until I know it's safe, I can't think about anything else. There's a terminal there you can use if you want to get started right away. Here. It's what I'd take if I were going myself. Knock yourself out. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for... The job is to retrieve a lost camera and deliver it to the photographer's shelter. The client claims she dropped it while attempting to evade a group of armed men, presumed to be terrorists. Fortunately, the camera was in a tagged case, meaning your cargo scanner should lead you right to it. It's possible, however, that the terrorists found it first. If you don't find anything in the area where the case was dropped, you'll have to head to their hideout.
Bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. <laughs> weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. scratches, but <laughs> I'm not complaining. You don't know what this means to me. my father's idea to move all the way out here. He thought he could get to the bottom of the Death Stranding all by himself. And we were right behind him. But look where it got us. If you hadn't come along when you did, the camera would be gone, and all our hard work would have been lost before anyone had a chance to see it. We can't let that happen. The world needs to hear about this. Someone out there will know what it means. So, Connect us up. We want to be a part of the UCA. <clears throat> I truly hope our work will help to make a difference. Thanks again. I hope we get to meet again before too long. Sam, it's Hartman. That camera you recovered contains some fascinating footage. The data stored on it was automatically shared with us after you added the photographer's shelter to the network, along with her father's research materials. Anyway, my lab still doesn't have a high-speed chiral connection but I was able to check one of the images against a database at HQ. Based on my preliminary calculations and the photographic and documentary evidence in our archives, I would estimate the paintings to be in the region of 30,000 years old, if not older. The artists were likely Neanderthals or other precursors who were migrating across the continent. See the dolphin-like creatures there? At the time, the cave would have been situated even farther from the coast than it is now. So how could the artists possibly have encountered dolphins? Answer? They couldn't. It is my belief that they had a brush not with dolphins, but with beach things. And that would mean the Death Stranding is not the first phenomenon of its kind. That it has happened before. Since the birth of our planet, countless species have gone extinct, from bacteria to dinosaurs. Scientists refer to the largest known mass extinctions as the Big Five. But there have, of course, been many other extinction events, albeit on a smaller scale. What if the artists were trying to document one such event, that of their own extinction? It would be the first record in Earth's history of a death stranding. And it would also lend credence to my theories. The sooner you come and connect me to the network, the sooner we'll know. Just imagine the mysteries we'll be able to solve. I'll be waiting, Sam. Wonderful news, Sam. BB-28's vitals are nearly within optimal operating parameters. Just before I called, 
It opened its eyes. It was looking all over, as if searching for someone. And then, our eyes met. For a moment, I think. I tell you, it was almost enough to make me want to keep the kid for myself. Anyway, I still need to run diagnostics and make adjustments as needed. However, the fluctuating local chiral levels could pose a problem. Think you can bring one more site into the network? Once you have, and once I have subsequently confirmed that AB is functioning reliably, I'll release it into your custody. This is the last step, I promise. Just one more site, that's all we should need. Good luck. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Sam, I see you received a mail from our mountaineer friend. Seems he's got an order for you. Might be good to give it a look. 